is called mobile dying? Probably not, but it's definitely going on that direction. So watch till the end so you can know what I'm talking about. In case if you guys are new, consider dropping a sub. And without any further delay, let's get right into the video. Maybe it's 3 a.m. Had you on my mind. Hey yo, how's it going everyone? It's Dustin back again with another video and in today's video, it's a sensitive topic, is called mobile dying. So that's what we are going to explore. I'm just going to give you guys my opinions about this and COD mobile isn't really dying. I'll give you the reason as well. So let's begin the video. I want to start off with the monetization system. Like first off, let's talk about the crates. You guys already know it's a gambling thing. Like they put one good thing in the crates. And if you want that skin, you have to spend 200, 300 bucks. The skins are also becoming low effort skins. Like they are not literally not doing anything. Like they are just slapping a sticker on a default gun and selling it for, I don't know how much. Like you're not going to get the favorite skin in the crate the first time. Uh, yeah, some people are lucky, but most of the time you're not going to get it. And also I want to talk about the bundles. Like that's also so bad. You're not going to get any good skin from the bundle, but you have to spend like 1500 CP or something like that to get one good skin. You guys already know the Ghost Lucens bundle and stuff. When you compare the bundles on Warzone, you wouldn't even like touch the skins. That's the thing. So they are making so much money. You know about lucky draws. Most of the time it's not lucky. The odds are so bad in the game. You are not going to get anything unless you spend a good amount of CP so that's a bad thing in the game mythic drops so I don't really know why people are spending on mythic draws like get the skin no problem like why do you have to change the effect that you paid for like you get kill effects by purchasing the mythic gun right and why do you have to change the effect by paying more I don't really understand the concept if you if you are a mythic like skin buying guy let me know so let's see let's see maybe you you have an answer i don't know and that's a big problem in cod mobile like they can sell the skins in the store if you go to the store and if you go to the skin purchasing section of the game it was updated in season 2 i believe like can you see the he 40 halloween it was introduced in season 2 and I don't really know if they refreshed it or not and it's being the same for more than all, how long? Se 11 seasons? So it's been like that. They can directly sell skins for fixed prices. I don't know why they are not doing it but that's a really big problem that COD Mobile is going on a bad direction. Next up, I want to talk about the desync and bugs in the game. You guys already know about the desync. I don't really know how to explain it really quickly. Like type desync in FPS games, you will see some videos. So if you talk about desync, it's really bad in COD Mobile. I don't know how it got this bad. And you guys already know about the bugs in the game. I can make a big video showing all the bugs that are present in the game. They have to fix it. But instead, the game became content hungry. I don't know if it's the right word to say, they became so obsessive in adding content like maps, guns and all those stuffs. Removing those unnecessary skins from the crates will reduce the game space so that will also help and the solution is also there. You can sell the particular skin for set price that will solve the issue and you guys know about the storage space of the game. It went from 2GB to 5GB just because you have to download the resources, soldier skins, gun skins, maps after the installation of the game. So you have to download this many things just to see how the game performs with all the mythic skins and all the legendary characters and stuff which is not really good in my opinion and you guys already know with more content they are adding more bugs and the game becomes poorly optimized because of the content they themselves agreed on this so 
Maybe we need an update which focuses on bug fixes alone, no content. So maybe that will help. They can remove unnecessary stuffs like, you know, some game modes people don't really play whatsoever but still exists like PTFO. Like, what's the reason? You can just play a domination match. I saw something recently which is like Snowfall and Snowfall Summit or something. Summit is a winter map and I don't really see the point. Snowfall and Summit which is a game mode that's that was available or that is available in the game right now and I don't see the point of having that like unnecessary stuffs they can remove that and potting bay with Tencent that's also a topic I wanted to talk about and in case if you don't know Tencent logo was removed from COD Mobile in season 7 season 7 update and ever since they removed it the game is on a downfall and if you remember that, season 7 is the one that introduced desync in the game. Or that's the season. Desync got really bad and they cannot fix it. Six seasons later, we are still there with the same problem. Desync. It's getting really bad and bad. Losing player base of the game. I want to talk about this. It all happened starting from the gunsmith update. They didn't provide any clear instructions of how to use gunsmith or how gunsmith works. Bullet spread accuracy is a thing that they introduced. No explanation. That's the that's the start of losing player base. I saw so many people quit COD Mobile just because of the gunsmith and they never came back. I'm saying this because I lost so many viewers on my live streams and all of them said gunsmith was hard to understand and stuff. So that's why they quit. I don't really blame them. Gunsmith introduction and bullet spread accuracy was so bad and they made it really hard in season 13 by introducing skill based matchmaking. I don't really have any problem going up against good players in my lobbies. Like if you lose a game you should get a little better opponents but the game is not doing that. Instead they are giving bad players in a lobby and they are going on a losing streak which frustrates them and eventually they are quitting the game. Skill based matchmaking is a good thing in a way if the algorithm works so perfectly. I don't know how it was implemented and that's also ruining the game. I don't know how to like explain this. So skill based matchmaking is a problem and hackers. I started noticing so many hackers and whenever I open a reddit I would always see two or three hacking reports with the UID. I don't know if they are blocking them or something like that, but I also faced a hacker while pushing to legendary and I can confirm the hacks are so bad, like hip firing 50 meters and stuff. I don't know how the system anti-cheat is not detecting them and banning them, but they are reporting hackers are coming back. That's also a thing they have to fix and false bans which is really annoying really really annoying thing imagine spending so much money in your game on your account and getting false banned for no reason and that's what's happening so they have to look into it and fix it as soon as possible so many people are quitting because of that too so losing player base which is a big problem for COD Mobile they have to fix it and COD Mobile subreddit you guys already know about the subreddit most of the time you are getting downvoted for reporting a bug and these times you are getting shadow banned for giving feedback about the game constructive criticism if you post something like that you are getting banned i mean shadow banned or your post getting deleted i'm seeing so many people complain about this like they post screenshot of their post and when i read through that post there's nothing offensive or hateful towards the game. It's all constructive criticism, but they're getting removed for no reason. That's a problem. That's the problem they have to fix. And the subreddit is officially supported by Activision or Team Me. So if you report through subreddit, they can easily reach developers and they can easily fix it, but it's not going through the subreddit. Someone is like sabotaging everything. So that's also a problem they have to fix. Current state of mobile gaming and COD Mobile's position. COD Mobile is in a really good condition right now. 
PUBG is banned in India, Fortnite is not accessible by iOS devices and you guys already know like COD Mobile is the only game to play and uh, yeah Free Fire is also there and at least in India people don't want to play COD Mobile just because it's being PUBG Mobile's rival like that's why that's the only reason people are not even trying to, trying to play COD Mobile and when they switch to COD Mobile they see all these desync and bug issues and they immediately switch back like different games that's the problem that's the problem you have to fix it's not even growing in India right now COD Mobile is a good game it's coming from me but it's not growing in India right now just because of this I also want to talk about how COD Mobile became casual player friendly instead of being competitive friendly like I never seen any COD that nerfs movements just because people reporting they cannot track them or something like this happens here in COD Mobile and there's no value for movements in COD Mobile because of this and desync issues so that also frustrates me so much because if you stand on a head glitch you can win gunfights and that's it you don't even have to move out like what's the point you don't have to move you had like you can camp in a corner in your spawn and get kills then what's the point of moving around the map like it became so like frustrating whenever you think about it and it's happening so much after the gunsmith update as i said people building no accuracy loadouts and camping in a corner that really happens so much and also if you want to talk about snipers that's also i don't know you can just build high mobility sniper loadout and like slay people with that that's also an issue we we don't really know who has skills to snipe right now <laughs> like anybody can pick up a sniper and do quick scopes like i don't understand the point and also you have to consider the aim assist of the game which is really confusing and it's not really consistent it's so inconsistent with weapons i don't really understand how the aim assist works in this game and gyroscope also has so many issues and they are not focusing on optimizing the game that's my thing that's my point here and i also want to talk about is cod mobile dying no it's not dying as of now but it's definitely losing its player base and it's definitely on a bad direction so cod mobile has to look into it and fix it as soon as possible otherwise they are going to lose more number of players and like think about it there's no good game to switch now from cod mobile and still people are leaving the game just think about if they had a good game to switch right now do you think people would be playing cod mobile i don't think so so before a good game lands in the market cod mobile has to fix all their issues that's how they are going to retain their core players and that's how they are going to keep the game alive and cod mobile is not going to die uh, like any online game is not going to die that fast it's because whenever someone leaves whenever someone let's say your og player leaves there's always new player comes in and fill the gap that's how it's going to live all the games are going to live so cod mobile is not dying but it's definitely losing player base and that's it for the video hope you guys enjoyed this one if you guys did leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this share this video with your friends that will really help me a lot and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye